I'm a father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf cloak. Diamonds wanna go. Hello everyone, this is Nagato's Revenge, and welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showcasing on an all in one PSP emulator installer for Adrenaline. With that being said as well, please be sure to follow my social media so you know the latest hacking guides and tutorials from my channel. And if y'all guys do want to support my channel in any way, you can feel free to donate via my PayPal link. It'll be in the link in the description below and as shown here on the screen, um, it's purely optional. But with that being said as well, we could go ahead and get into the prerequisites. What you need for this is a modded PlayStation Vita or PSTV via using the Hankaku or HN Core or the new Trinity hack. As well, your system needs to be on 3.60 to 3.70 firmware using the latest version of Adrenaline. You also need a 6.61 PBP file which is the software update that Adrenaline uses. As well you need the latest version of Vita Shell with Fozilla FTP client or a USB charging cable. And I just want to say a special thanks to the official flow for making a multitude of hacks for the Vita. I just want to say a special thanks as well to the Hero GIC for making this program for Adrenaline. And as well, I just wanted to give a big shout out to all my supporters who support me on a daily basis. With that being said, now we can go ahead and get started on the tutorial. Alright guys, so assuming that you did follow all of the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we could go ahead and get started on the actual video and all the PC portion of this tutorial. So what you want to do if you're going to decide to use the, via USB for this method, go ahead and plug in your uh, cable to your PC to your Vita but in this case I'm going to be using Fossilla FTP client so I'll have a link in the description down below for that program as well but also I will have the downloads for the newest version of Adrenaline the actual update that you'll need for Adrenaline this is optional to be honest but I noticed with Adrenaline sometimes the actual update won't install successfully without this uh, file so that's why we're going to be putting this in manually in Vita Shell via in UX0 and also we need the emulator installer that VPK but before I even showcase um, you know Fozilla and the PC portion of this uh, tutorial I'm going to be stating you know some pros about this little installer for this dot vpk um instead of you know going online and you know downloading multiple emulators unless you're using like retro arc or something like that and you still want to use adrenaline for your you know uh emulators and stuff like that what you could do instead of you know searching online for you know a gba one it's like a genesis one nes this will install it all for you in less than three minutes that's why it's very efficient instead of you know having a bunch of files trying to collect them all together transferring one by one this installs each emulator essentially all like i think there's 15 in them all by itself so that's why i really like this program uh but with that being out of the way we could go ahead and get started on the actual process so i'm going to be using filezilla ftp client so I'm just going to go ahead and boot that up, which y'all guys should do as well. And the next step, what I'm going to do is showcase my Vita. And then I'm going to show you guys what we need to do via from there. So I'm on my PlayStation Vita right now. And what we need to do is go ahead and open up Vita Shell. Assuming that y'all guys are on Hankaku or, you know, Hankaku Enzo, for example, I don't have to go ahead and boot in like the Trinity exploit or the H on core exploit. But if you guys have to do that, um, make sure you do that process, of course, or you can't, you know, run homebrew. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Vita Shell. A link in the description will be in the below for the Vita Shell as well if you don't have it. But what we're going to do now is go ahead and hit start scroll all the way down if you want to do usb method via with your usb cable go ahead and just toggle left and right over your d-pad and but in this case i'm just going to be using ftp so i'm going to have that option on then i'm going to press circle back and then i'm now i'm going to hit select on my vita and now you're going to see my ftp server um showcased on my screen your ip will be different of course but the port 1337 will be the same so i'm going to go ahead and toggle back out from here and now what we're going to do is go to filezilla so filezilla is open now what we need to do is just leave our vita screen to where it was and just type in our ip so this is mine for example and then always it's 1337 for the port can't even type today and if you get this uh, insecure FTP connection error, that's okay. You can just click okay once you see that. But once that process is done from here, we're gonna go into UX0 and 
but we're gonna go into let's see scroll all the way down from here and now what we're gonna do is go ahead and drag our two files from Engeneralin and the PSP emulator installer we're gonna go ahead and drag that to here to UX0 and we're also gonna drag our uh, excuse me 6.61.pbp file right here as well so as shown here and if I go ahead and stretch this out you can see both of my uh, files transferring over um, it shouldn't take too long but I'm gonna go ahead and still cut the screen here since I don't want y'all guys to watch it download and it be boring so I'll meet you guys once that process is finished Alrighty guys, so as shown here, Adrenaline, the actual uh, firmware update for Adrenaline and also the emulator.vpk has all installed successfully as shown here. So we can go ahead and minimize out follow or excuse me, files the FTP client. And right now I'm gonna go ahead and transfer back to my Vita so you guys can see on the screen real quick. So here's my Vita. What we need to do first is go ahead out of FTP server, scroll all the way down to UX0 right here. And then from UX0, we need to go ahead and install the adrenaline.vpk. So it may take a little second for it to actually install, or actually it did it pretty quick for me this time. But once you install the adrenaline.vpk, of course, what we need to do is go ahead and we need to copy the 6.61.pbp file. Although you could, you know, download this from the actual adrenaline app, we're going to just go ahead and skip that step so we won't run into any issues for this process. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit triangle, go ahead and hit move. It's going to copy the file. I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way up to app right here. And then we're going to go to PSP EMU CFW. This is basically adrenaline. And now we're going to go ahead and paste this file right here. And then once we have that right now, what we're going to do is go into UX0 and we're going to go back into PSP emulator installer.vpk. We're going to also install that package as well. So it shouldn't take too long for it to install. So it's doing its thing right now. And then once that basically installed and you did transfer over your um, PBP file, the actual update, we are good to go. And what we need to do first is go ahead and run adrenaline. So it's at 99%, it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and back out. You should basically see two applications flashing on your main menu, which is adrenaline and also a PSP emulator installer. So what we're gonna do is run adrenaline first. And since it's gonna be your first time setting it up, unless you already have adrenaline uh, previously installed, it's gonna showcase that we need to install the 6.61 firmware on our memory card. So I'm clicking X right now. It should say OK, and now it should be creating all of the directories onto our system. So it may take like a minute or two. It doesn't take too long, but as you see here, it's extracting all of the firmware onto the screen. And then um, I'm probably going to pause the video right here. And then once it's processed and it's done, I'll showcase that. A few moments later. All right, so it's finished, and as shown here, it says the firmware has been installed successfully. Please press X to boot to the PSP X and B. So that's what I'm going to do now. So just hit X. It's going to flash to a black screen, and you should hear the PlayStation Portable uh, boot up sound, like if you own a actual PSP. And now, this is going to ask you for your language. Since I'm from, you know, the United States, I'm going to choose English. I'm just going to choose a random time zone. It's fine. You could go ahead if you want to change those steps but in my case what we need to do now is go ahead back out from here by holding down your playstation button on your ps tv or on your vita and we're going to go ahead and choose the third option exit out of psp emu application and now from here where it says psp emulators installer we're going to go ahead and run it just like a normal app and now, as shown here, it's going to ask you where you want to install this at. So press cross or, you know, X to install emulators on adrenaline to your memory card, aka UX0. Or if you want to install circle to UR0 or UMA0 as your extended storage. But in this case, I'm going to install on my uh, memory card. So I'm going to go ahead and hit X. And now it's just going to say system message. Please wait three minutes for this process to happen. Just hit OK. And now just leave your Vita on standby or PSTV of that choice and what it's doing is manually installing all the emulators so all I'm gonna do now is go ahead and pause the video and then we're gonna go and check back once this process is finished alrighty guys so as shown here basically once it's finished 
processing it will say the emulators have been installed to partition ux0 aka your memory card and now we can just go ahead and hit ok from here and now we could go and back out from this program and what we're going to do is go ahead and run vita shell or excuse me not vita shell but adrenaline right now just to see if our emulators are in the actual game slot so that's what i'm doing here right now shouldn't take too much longer and now if we go into our memory stick and if i click on it you should see all of our emulators right here so we have some pretty cool emulators so we have the super nintendo one we have sms plus i'm not too sure which that one is uh vice psp c64 we have a pc engine atari 52000 um neo geo emulator so there are a lot of uh, emulators in here so if you ever wanted to you know set up any you know emulators if you don't want to or basically want to set up roms for like nes and snes and stuff like that you have it already on via with adrenaline uh but with that being said as well this is the end of this tutorial my name is nagato and i'm signing out and i hope you guys have a great day peace So he's smooth.